Hi everyone, it's Meher from Vancouver, BC. Welcome to another interview series. My goal is to introduce you to tips that will help you in your job search by interviewing experts in the industry. If you are watching me for the first time, don't forget to subscribe so that you're aware every time I'm posting a video. So let's start with today's interview. Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. Today I have the privilege to interview Megan Nicole. Hi Megan, how are you doing? I'm well, thanks. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being part of this interview series. So Megan is the HR director at BBTV and she's an ambitious HR professional and an experienced leader fostering organizational success through talent. So Megan, tell us more about your career. How did you end up here? And in your career, if you had any failures and how you overcome them? Yeah, certainly. Um, so I think I'll start by saying I was one of the ones that didn't know what they wanted to be <laughs> when they grew up. Um, but I was always curious and drawn to business, to people, and to sports of all things. Wow. I think at one point I wanted to be a sports psychologist. That's interesting. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and here I am in, in HR. Um, but one of the things, or a couple of things that I learned along the way that helped me overcome failures throughout my career um, was being um, a high level athlete in my young age. It taught me a couple of things. Um, I think one of the things was just being a, a young female in sports. Uh, number two, being a young, relatively small female in sports, I got pushed around a lot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so in terms of overcoming failures, I, was, I learned a lot about resilience. Mm. I learned a lot about drive. And I learned how to really positively channel my competitive spirit um, to drive things forward in a productive and a positive way. Mm. Uh, and so I've taken those learnings and applied them to my career now. And I'd say that um, from, from that um, drawing on my sort of young professional, mm -hmm. or sorry, not professional, <laughs> my young uh, um, athletic career, mm, yeah. uh, I've been able to use that resilience yeah, in my professional career. So can we understand that as many people would say, I fall into HR, like from, athletic psychology, how did you end up in HR work? Yeah, definitely, so um, great question. So I studied psychology and then again, sort of di didn't know exactly where that was gonna take me. Um, did what many people in their young 20s do and I went traveling, I went to explore mm. culture in the world, uh, which also taught me a lot. Um, and then I'm from Victoria originally, so when I moved to the big city, which mm -hmm. is Vancouver, I started to um, study business again. And then in the general business studies, really found myself drawn to HR, and then sort of took that more traditional path from there. All right, yeah. thank you for sharing your story. And for the audience, uh, if you have any other failures or anything that you overcome in your career, Please like it, leave it in the comment section. Tune in next time for another interview question with Megan.